Florida State and Bethune Cookman kick things off here at Doe Campbell Stadium at 6 p.m. on Saturday evening. Welcome to your official game preview brought to you by shop.seminoles.com. I'm Scott Kodak. Bethune Cookman defeated FIU last weekend. They come in 3 0 on the season, the number one defense in the FCS. Quite the challenge for Florida State on Saturday. They're averaging 38 points a game, giving up nine, giving up less than we are. Uh, went out and beat FIU 34 to 13, I believe it was, handled them very, uh, very easily. Uh, great win for them. They've won, you know, to, been at the top of their league for the last two or three years. Uh, coach is doing a tremendous job coaching them. Uh, they've got a great group. They're athletic. Offense, they even run the ball very well on offense. Very diverse on defense and sound in the kicking game. So we'll have our hands full again and have another great opponent coming in. What we do is we prepare for each and every team the same as if it was the, the last game to ever be played. So that's they're going to get our best every each and every week. It's pretty much as big as every other game we play because they got some great, they got some pretty good players. They got a lot of athletes just as fast as all the other teams we play. So we're going to take this game serious and we're going to just do what we got to do. Now here's Jonathan Shalasi to preview the Seminole defense. Florida State's defense has looked very impressive in the first two games, limiting both teams to under 300 yards. Pitt only had 297, while Nevada 214. But the Seminoles feel they could do even better. I'm really impressed just knowing that we got a new scheme and uh, a lot of different coaches coming in. I'm really, uh, I'm really impressed by how we've been picking it up. And just, I feel like we, can, we have a, lot, a long way to go. But still knowing that we've been picking it up like we have. I definitely feel like um, we can we can definitely play better. I feel like we, um, we play pretty good for the most part, but we can always get better. Florida State will have to hone in on the run game as it's 70% of Bethune-Cookman's total offensive yardage. We've seen it all from the Florida State offense in the first two games. Against Pittsburgh in week one, it was the aerial attack that was on full display. In week two, it was the ground game doing all the damage with six different Seminoles scoring rushing touchdowns. However, Florida State has done it. The attention has been on redshirt freshman quarterback Jameis Winston. Winston has completed 89% of his passes in the first two games, and he has proved that he can come back from making a mistake in a strong way. After throwing an interception and a quick three and out, Winston came back and rallied the Seminoles to six straight touchdown drives. But I like the way he bounced back from that, and also not just bouncing back getting completions, but he didn't lose his aggression. Still stayed aggressive with the football and uh, threw balls in there. But from that standpoint, I, I, th I thought he did a nice job. The next test for this Seminole offense is BCU's defense that has only given up 659 total yards in three games. And as Scott said, is actually ranked number one in the FCS right now. Strength of schedule may be a question for BCU, but know that this unit will come in very confident and it is up to the Seminoles to improve every game they step on the field. Everything, every aspect of my game, I got to get better on just because Last week is over now, I got a new week. So I got to get better on those exact same things again for us to get another win. Everything kicks off at 6 p.m. on Saturday evening inside here at Doak Camel Stadium. It is Military Appreciation Day. Seminole fans come out to Doak and support a great cause. Of course, all the great coverage you come to expect from the staff here at Seminoles.com, pregame, during game, and postgame coverage. We'll see you here at Doak on Saturday. I'm Scott Kodak for Seminoles.com.